Hey guys, so welcome to the stream. It is Sunday, April 26th, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it looks like me touching up mummy came up in the video. On uh, the Don't YouTube stream. You guys enjoy that. Um, so, <laughs> that was funny. Today we are making... <laughs> we have to laugh about these things. We're still learning. So, um... We are making tuna cutlets today, guys. And just FYI, if you didn't know, the YouTube channel is finally up. You guys can find it at amyj21.com slash a pinch of Kerala. And do like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon for notifications. That would be awesome. And, you know, we have the month of May already scheduled out. We'll, we'll send something on social media shortly about that. Um, hope you guys will uh, join us as we continue to cook and have fun. Uh, until then, let's make some cutlets. Mummy. All right. Okay. Once again, happy Sunday. And uh, welcome to... Wait, you're the knock. Uh, welcome, to, welcome to Pinch of Kerala. Once again, good to see you all. And today we are going to make um, tuna cutlet. But again, you know, I wanted to remind you about this uh, COVID-19 and we are praying for everyone. So many people passed away, so many people are sick, and so, so many is afraid that they're going to get the sickness. So, you know, we are praying already. Actually, we had a prayer, we, uh, the, what do you call that, uh, conference prayer. Yeah. We just had that. So we are praying for everyone, and uh, I was looking forward to see you all. All right, okay, thanks again. God bless you all, and uh, I'm going to start now. All right. Uh, so we are making the tuna cutlet. What do we need for tuna cutlet, right? Okay. So what we need for tuna cutlet? Of course, tuna. So what I did was, you know, I'm getting two cans of uh, tuna, which I opened already. See, you see the bumblebee? I just opened the can. So I just want you to see it. Hey, hip level. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah that's okay. Thanks. I Sorry, want, goes out of shot. I just want you to see <laughs> You know, I have all the directions, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I have two cans of uh, bumblebee tuna. You can use any type of tuna, but it happened to be, you know, bumblebee, um, albacore. And that's good, or any type of tuna is good. So I got two cans already open, and I got two potatoes, you know, I got a little bit dark potatoes that I got. And, or you can use three medium. So that's why, you know, I took it, not all together though. Either one, you know, so either, Three medium or two dots. Mommy, well, you picked the albacore, but you know, the, the common one is that green. Uh, uh, yeah, green also can use, yeah. What's the dish? Just the fish type? No, no, this is uh, the reason I took it a little bit chunk. Oh, okay. Okay, the other one is a little bit, you know, like a Pieces. loose. It comes, yeah, it comes in water and also it comes in oil. So you have to drain the water out. This happened to be the water though. So, you know, you can pick any, but I happen to like this one for today. And I use the other one too. So that's what it is. So not five potatoes, just two, large one, or three medium. So I just wanted to see that. So, Mommy, before you keep going, we're doing tuna cutlets today, but can you make beef cutlets, oh, veg yeah. cutlets? Yeah, yeah, that is, you know, coming up, right? It's, yep. a, it's in our list. It is on our it's list. It's on our list. Yeah. <laughs> but they can make cutlets with anything, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can make a vegetable cutlet if uh, everybody is excited about vegetable cutlet, you know, so we can make that one day. All right. Okay, so the other things, other than the tuna and potato, we need something else too. You know, we don't want that. Yeah. So, of course, what we need is one cup of medium onion, one cup of, you know, or of course, you can use the red onion or white onion. I happen to have the red one, okay? You can use the white, no problem. I got two green chilies already, okay? And uh, again, you can use it according to your taste, according to your heart, you know, if you cannot take too much, but it's not too very hot though. Then what we need is the garlic, see here? Six, eight, uh, seven or eight go, uh, clove, all right? And this is a ginger. You can use one and a half tablespoon. And you know, we've been doing this every day. So you, you want me to go over again and have to cut the ginger and have to scrape it? You can just I cut, can, do it. Yeah, yeah, I can just. Uh, you can just do it. Okay. All right, okay. And, uh, and the other things I need, I uh, just want to go over. Okay, please. So you need um, egg. You dip it in egg. 
So, oh, mommy. I haven't been doing it as a breadcrumb, so I just want you to see all this. So, mommy, when you say egg, though, you mean... Hi. Uh -huh. Hi. When you say egg, you mean, like, a whole egg? Because you could also no, get that... we break it and, you know, we... Um, we need egg whites? You, you know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm going to do two different ways. Okay. Oh. One is egg white and one is the whole egg. Okay. okay. Both taste the same. You know, I tried, I tested. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm going to show you, you know, you can see that. So the breadcrumbs already ready to go, and and uh oh, and the egg. <laughs> and if you don't have the breadcrumbs in available while you are going to do the tuna cutlet, you can make it from the bread. You can toast the bread. Oh. You can put it in the food processor. It will come as good as the breadcrumbs. Nice. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, you need to go over the other one? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Or do you want last channel? Ah, uh, this is the last one. We'll last do the last. Yeah, we'll do Confuse that. Kind of. All right. Okay. All right. So, of course, you know about this. Yes. <laughs> my cap. Finger my guard. Cap. Yes. Right. Remember, she is a professional. So, yeah. you cut it however you need. As All a professional, right. she can use a finger guard All right. and okay. go that way. First, I'm going to, you know, you know, have to scrape the ginger. See this one? You know, the potato peeler. Or you can do it with a knife in any way you like it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do with a potato peeler and show you how. You can see it. It's already washed, but you know I usually wash it again. Just take go over, run over. Remember we did the other one in the food processor. You can do that. Okay. This is all clean. Okay. So I don't want it to feel like. So you know I usually wash it again. This is just uh, practice. So see, I'm going to do that, you know, with my finger. And you can do it on the, you know, cutting board. You can put it on the food processor, which I have ready already. But I'm going to show you this today. All right. See, this is my practice, though. See how uh, small it is? Yep. All right, OK. So then I'm going to show you this. You need one cup. You probably think why I cut only a little bit, right? I'll <laughs> tell you that in a minute. Okay. We're ready. Mommy, you're cutting it differently than you've cut it before. Aha, uh -huh. this is a small, like a mincing. Hold okay. on. Okay, so not the long way. So how do you mince it, Mommy? So, so you cut you cut the See you put see? Okay. So this is you know, I know how to do this part. See? So I'm gonna say this. See this? Okay. So you cut it one way. One the way, yeah. Then you had to do this the other way. The other way. Okay. So when you cut it on the cutting board, cutting board. So you do this, one, you know, put a little bit. Uh -huh. Right. Then you can do this. Then you cut it the other direction, guys. Other direction. And that's how you get diced minced onions. Yes. So we want tiny diced, wedges. The same way. Onions. See here. Yes. Yep. Oh. You got it. Got yes. it. You can do that. And and the garlic. You all know by now, we've been doing the classes for how many days now? This is so our... the same thing, okay? So I'm going to do this. Well, you're just cutting a small, thin slice. Thin, yeah, that's good enough. That. You know, you put, once you put it in the oil, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it cook. Got it. So that's all you need. So thin slice. Oh, that's thin it? Slice. Yeah. That's not even... No, no, that's what I'm cutting. But, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. You to know, be clear, yeah. everybody, this is a demonstration yeah. plate uh -huh. of techniques. See there? Because I don't want to cut all... But I just uh, want everyone to see it. See Demonstration. Here? Demonstration. See here? The, the pepper. So what do I do? I slit it. Oh. See here? Uh -huh. So how it is? Yeah. Okay. And you can do this on uh, here. See here? And again, you know, don't put your hand in your eyes. Wash your uh, hands. Watch out. Good reminder, oh Mommy. Oh, my God. That, that, would, that hurt. would hurt. That would hurt. That would hurt, Mommy. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember the onion that I put it in the refrigerator for half an hour. Right? Yes. So no tears. See, look at me. No tears. Wait, look at it. Oh, no tears. tears. No tears. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. Okay. Oh, then I wanted to show you this one. The curry leaves. Curry leaves. Okay. We use curry so, leaves? Uh, curry leaves, okay. yeah. Oh, my God. That's it. Indian cooking, you know that. So I'm going to put it in here, see? Wait, wait, let me show that again. You wrap, so she took the curry leaves, guys, and she wrapped oh, it together. Oh, 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 I'm going to go on here. No, wait, oh, okay. okay. And, and the, yeah. Slowly. Wrap it here. 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, she's Mario. fast. Okay. She's fast. She's okay. a pro. So everybody. we're gonna Jamie and so I are gonna, gonna zoom in. I'm gonna put it on the wood. Okay. okay. Instead of my hand. Okay. So yeah. so I'm gonna take the, all the leaves. You know, you do it. See here. She's just gonna slide it off. Yeah. Slide. She's pulling oh. it down. Right. Yeah. She grabs it. Yep. Yeah. Oh. There we go. See yeah. how she holds it? Hold yeah. on with me slowly. Yeah. And then she folds it. Yeah. Folds like it a wrap. Down. Yeah. Like a wrap. Fold it like a wrap. Okay. Okay. So what I do, you know, instead of doing in my hand, see here, I'm going to do it like. Got it. Nice. Like crushed, you know. See here? Yep. So you're still almost mincing it, guys. It's just yeah. very mincing, small. Mincing, mincing. It's all called mincing. Small pieces. Yeah. Right. So why I didn't cut the whole thing? You probably surprised. Right? Why aren't you cut? Oh my goodness! Look at that. <laughs> I cut it already because you know I don't want to waste the time. Though. Now you know how to do it. If you have any question, we can go over. No problem. So I cut the green chili already. See here how many? I did it with my hand. Uh huh. All right. You can see. Yep. Okay. And the onion. You see that? How yep. many it is? You know exactly like this. See here. No difference. Okay. So, but, okay, so Bumay, let's tell them how much of each you're using. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's so tell them that. this is a two chili that, two chili that I did. Okay. So that's what this is. So two, two, two chilies, and this is one and a half tablespoon of ginger. ginger. Or you can take one and a half inch ginger. Okay. Okay? So that may be like this much. Uh-huh. You want me to cut it? No, no, no that's okay. Yeah. So, six or seven cloves, see here? You see the cloves? Uh-huh. If you want to mince it a little bit more, that's fine. But again, once you put it in the oil, it is going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay? All right. And look at the curry leaves. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, that's mm -hmm. all what we were going to cut it. Mm -hmm. Already I cut and... Uh -huh. Already I cut it, then I don't want to waste time for just for that. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. right. So that's what this is. So what I'm going to do is, while we are going to cook this, I'm going to put the potato for boiling. We need a mashed potato. Okay. Mashed potato. Mashed potato. Okay. Okay. So what we need is mashed potato you can buy instant if you don't want to put, you know, the whole potato boiled and mash it. And you can buy instant uh, mashed potato. Okay. But again, you know, the fresh always tastes good. Mm -hmm. And if you cannot get into all that, mashed potato is fine. Here okay. the powder, you can instant powder. The same kind from Thanksgiving? Yeah, oh. that's right. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is... I'm We're coming over here. right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to put... See the potato? So I'm going to cut it like that, okay? So I'm going to make it half. It will cook faster. Sorry, let me... See one yeah? second. We're just trying to readjust. Mm -hmm. So I cut it in half. Okay. And I put the water already there. See? The water? Uh -huh. So I put it in the pot. Okay. Because instead of, you know, waiting, waiting. So this is the, you know, I take some water from the tap. Mm -hmm. And I put it already, it's warmed up. So, see ya? Yep. All right. Pretty so I'm going to put it back. Okay. And the potato is already washed, ready to go. So I put it in half, you know, it, it uh, cooked faster then. Okay, so don't put it, just put it in. Cut it in half. Uh, in half. It's but faster. It, yeah, faster, yeah. But if you want to put the whole, you can, but it takes a little bit longer time. Can you cut it in cubes, mommy? Like in you fours? Can, yeah, you, you can just... take the skin off and we can make it cube. You can boil it and okay. cook it and, you know, just So it's, it. it's a personal preference? Yeah. Okay. Okay, see, see here? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put that in <laughs> Four pieces. And nothing added to the water, just nothing, the potatoes. No, nothing, you know. Because we're just no. boiling it. Just boiling it. Yeah. All right. So now, now this. So I'm going to saute all these. Okay. okay. Everything that was on the plate. So this is a pan. But I'm going to do so another thing is we have to drain the tuna. See, the tuna, we have to drain it. Okay. So I'm going to put it in here. See the chunks? You can see it? Yeah. The chunks of tuna. 
sorry guys. I took only two cans. You know, if you want to take more, you can. But I took... So it's raining, see? Some yes. Water? Okay. Some tuna comes with oil and some with the water. This happened to be with the water. tuna with the water. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to let it stay for a few minutes. Okay, then you have to um, thread it. Okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll show them yeah. that. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to let the water go a little bit more. See? You don't want the water. See, the water gone? Mm -hmm. the water. So I'm going to put it in another pot. See it? So I'm going to take it and... So I'm going to show you. See? You can show it. Good. So you're crunching it. You know the green one they were talking about? Yeah. That already is done. Already done, yeah. And if you want less potato, you know, you want only one potato instead of two, you can do that. It's all your, all your personal preference. So, or you can put a little bit more if you like. Of course, you can do that. See how good it looks? Yes. Chunks. You know. It, so it, she's shredding it, guys. I'm just, just That's shredding all she, it. She's just shredding yeah. it up. Mm -hmm. oh. It may shred a little bit more once we put it in there. I'm going to wash my hair again. So now the cooking starts, okay? Oh, I didn't show you that. I didn't show you all the spices. So. This is what we're going to use it as a back to. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> all is fine. So what I'm going to use today is two tablespoons of coconut oil. Mm -hmm. See, already ready to go. You see that? Yep. Okay. And of course, a little bit of salt all the time. <laughs> then what I'm going to use is a little turmeric, black pepper, mm -hmm. and garam masala, and fennel seed powder. Uh -huh. Okay, you got all that? Yes. Okay, see that? You can see it? Yeah, up there oh. is good. Oh, All right, so that's a powder, you know, that's going to be a little bit later. So I'm going to put a little bit of um, coconut oil. So I'm going to, Amy said, always careful, mommy. Yes. Oh. So I'll wait till that. Thanks to everyone who's just joining. If this is your first yeah, pinch is, of Kerala video. So this is a little bit of oil. Okay. Yep. All right. See the potato is cooking while we're doing that. It'll be loud. For you all, we won't turn on the exhaust. So, so first I'm going to put the ginger, like we always do. You can uh -huh. see it? Yep, you yes. can see it. And the oil is getting hot, so I'll wait. Yet, you know, we have a couple of things going on at the same time. Right. Oil and the potato. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put the, um, I'm going to put the ginger now. Okay. Yes. You can see it? Hold it for a minute. All right. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do add is the onions. Ooh. Okay. So you know, cook for a minute. Then I'm going to add this. Well, as a reminder, you could put the 
garlic in first. No, the um, no, no, ginger. The ginger, ginger in first because yeah, it you cooks, can get a little tender. Takes a little longer, right? Yeah, a little longer. See here. And ginger and onions give a lot of taste for tuna, especially fish. Ah, yep. And again, I don't want anybody worrying about not having a curry leaves. It is optional. It's optional, yeah. So guys, we're going to check on the potatoes. Still yep. cooking. Good boy. Appreciate the shout outs and comments. Uh, guys, if you have any questions, do let us know. Also, if there are any requests, things are progressing. We finally got the YouTube up. Recipes are coming next. Please still give us about another week and a half or so. Okay. So, you know, while doing that, you know, we wait till that look, get a little brown, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to put the garlic. Mm -hmm. Now, we can put everything. Just in the pepper. And again, you know, I took two uh, green... Uh, pepper and according to your taste you know if you cannot take too much hot mm -hmm. you can one and a half is good or one is good because we are adding some black pepper powder right okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. can you recap the ingredients while you're cooking this? while you're mixing yeah, yeah so what I did was and of course you saw the minced um, ginger <laughs> garlic onion um, uh, ginger garlic, onion, and green chili, and the curry leaves. Yep, five items. Okay, so I put uh, two tablespoons of, um, I put two tablespoons of, uh, you know, you can put any oil, but I put uh, coconut oil. Okay. Okay. Right. So, first I put the ginger, then I put the onions, then you can put all the, you know, the green chili and garlic and the curry leaves. So I'll saute until this gets a little bit brown. You don't want to get burned, you know, so you have to stir it. Stirring, uh, because once it burned, the taste is completely different. It's different. Oh my goodness. And guys, remember for those tuning in, we're boiling for mashed potatoes. Yep. But you can use instant or Thanksgiving I'm going to turn mash. Heat down a little bit. Okay. okay. I don't want to get burned. So it was high, now it is medium. Got it. Right. I guess. You don't want to burn it, you just want to brown it. Yep. And it's becoming mushy, ma? Uh, not mushy, but uh, you will see it's, once it's brown, it's not crispy, it's tender. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, the potato usually takes like a 10 minutes, 15 minutes. That's why, you know, I put the water ahead yeah. of time. Thanks to our new followers once again. Let us know if you have comments or questions in the comment box. YouTube, I think you can as well. We're still learning. But there's a chat. You guys should be able to do that. You know, the, um, the ginger and garlic you can put in the processor. Remember last time we did it? Yep. And you can do the same thing. You know, it will really get minced. And I happened to cut it with my finger. Though. So once it's getting, uh, it is getting browned. And if you want to get the onion fried a little bit faster, you can add a little bit of um, salt. So I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of salt. A little bit, okay? And oh, the other thing you have to be careful is, you have to be careful with um, canned tuna has some salt already. Oh, sodium. Yeah. So the word you're looking for there would be sodium so when on you the When you add pan. salt, please be careful. Now we're just getting it on. See here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the spices. And of course, you know, you have to turn the heat down a little bit. Yeah. We're using two cans of albacore tuna, mm -hmm. the small cans. 
blue. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of turmeric, okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is half teaspoon. Okay. These small cans, uh -huh. two of and these. Yeah, half teaspoon of uh, black pepper, okay? Mm -hmm. And again, just be careful how much you want. If you want one teaspoon, you know, it's all up to you, you know. And this is another, this is the fenugreek. Half teaspoon and, and that's another half teaspoon of garam masala. You guys remember, if you don't know what the spices are, we did a spice lesson yesterday, episode 8. It is on Facebook and YouTube. And again, you don't want to get burned, so I'm going to put the, add the tuna in there. Okay. Okay. All right. We're putting the tuna in. Okay. This is something you guys can make easily at home. The potatoes might be the, the question, but, you know... Tuna cans last a long time in your cupboard. So like, I know we're in quarantine and a lot of us are staying at home. So if you do a grocery run and you stack up on some tuna, stack up on some potatoes or instant potatoes, yeah. you can make this. So just, uh, you know, crush it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just um, make it like smash, 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 smash. Okay, so once again, the ingredients are yeah, yeah. ginger, mm -hmm. garlic, mm -hmm. onion, green chili, and uh, curry leaves. That's what we did. Then I added turmeric, black pepper, and garam masala, and fennel seed powder. Okay, half teaspoon each. So, mommy, there's a question on whether um, uh, there's also potatoes or instant potatoes yeah, instant which are over here instant, you know you can buy instant potato that's fine but fresh is better yeah you know the taste always fresh will taste better well, so there's a question uh -huh. the way we're making this is uh -huh. that the same essentially basically on how you would make beef cutlet or is there any changes um, almost the same almost the same, the same yeah. almost the same but Beef is beef, you know. Um, beef, you can buy it. I mean, you can make it with uh, ground meat. Mm -hmm. But you can buy the beef and you can cook it. Then you grind, make it the ground meat. So, uh, guys, if you are interested, we're gonna do beef cutlets later yeah. in a few in a few months. But my aunt has done it on her her YouTube channel and Facebook page. Uh, my mother's kitchen TV. Do check it out. She did uh, beef cutlets. I think today. Yeah. It's on their YouTube channel. I think it's the fourth episode or something like that. So do check that out. Um, you can also check out my other aunt, my cousin, uh, who has meals and memories. It is on Facebook. Well, it's on a personal Facebook, but it's on YouTube. All right. See now you see. It's almost mushy. You can see all these. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Okay. So now what is going to be added in this one is the mashed potato. So now we're going to check and see the mashed potato is ready to go, okay? So mommy, you kept this on simmer? So I'm going to put it on very simmer. You don't want, yeah, that's what. We don't want to burn. Yeah, oh my God. The whole thing will get uh, done. Uh -huh. And done. if you want a little bit of oil, and you know, we always control the oil, you know, you can do that. So I'm going to check and see this is cooked. Up. All right. Okay. Let's check those potatoes. Checking the potatoes. Potatoes. Potato, potato. Sorry. Okay. Almost. Uh, not almost. quite. Not, not quite. quite. And the other thing too. So, wait, 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 wait. how do you know? How did you know? You know how did you know? Oh, it will go so easily. See here? Now it is a little resistant, right? See? See? Oh, I had to go down. She had, down to, put, so she had she to put some effort, yeah, effort. into it. The yeah. potatoes. But not I'll ready. wait another five more minutes. You know, usually it takes like a 15 minutes to cook. Okay. But why are we doing that? So, this, you know, this one's similar. Okay? Mm -hmm. so I mean, just move. I don't want it to get dried up. So what we can do is, you know, we can uh, we can get ready for our cutlet. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Let's do that. There's so, a second part, guys. We're gonna yeah. shift so you can do that. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> so 
This is all our demonstrations. So we can move on. Then I'm going to use the two different ways, okay? Thank you. Your gold is washed, okay? So I'm going to take one whole egg. Uh huh. Right. See? Then. Guys, this is method one. This right? is method one. But, you know, some people use just the egg white, some people use the whole. So I'm going to show you both. Okay. And you break it. See here. Oh, let's check that Sorry. real quick, guys. We're gonna let's come check in that real quick okay. for the technique. See, see, see how she cradled the yolk. Yeah. Practice. You guys can do it too. Oh yeah. But that's how you get. And you can make this. The egg you white. can make this uh, omelet if you want to save it. Yeah. Or you know whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a whisk. So mommy, while you're whisking, uh -huh. you know how you can get egg whites in a carton now. Yeah, you can use. Can you use too. the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's awesome. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Another shortcut, guys. Yeah. And this is you know fresh, and you feel comfortable, you know, using your own egg. So. This is all for your information, you know. I could have done just it right or the world. But what's you know, your preference? I wanted to learn the different ways. Mommy, what's your preference? Oh, what's the preference? Mommy's, Mommy's preference. Is preference. Oh, I like egg white, you oh, know, okay. because you know the ye yellow is a little bit bad for your cholesterol. Yeah, cholesterol, you know. But, okay. So I'm going to keep that in there. Then, you know, if you want to add a little few wa few drops of water, you can do. What does the Please water do? One. It will, you know, what they're saying is, it will, uh, when you dip it in, it will cook inside, you know, like a steam. Oh, That's what they say. So I'll add just a few drops, okay? A few drops only. You don't want too much. Yeah, that's it. That might be like a half a teaspoon. Half a, no, less than that. Less, less than, than that. Drops. Less than that. She was like, mm, <laughs> don't do that. You don't have to, though, you know. All right, so now look. We so you beat it. ready to go. Mommy, it's ready because you have bubbles. Like you, you. Yeah, yeah. See here, bubble. That means it's ready. Got it. Yeah. All right. So that's all. You know, that's it. So I'm gonna check this. Put that on the side. All right. So now we're gonna check and see the potato is ready. Okay. So I'm gonna wash my hand again. Okay. It's ready. It's going easily. So, how long it is? Um, yeah, yeah. It's like 15 minutes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain it. Okay. Strainer. A strainer. A, a different strainer from the two to one, guys. Strainer. Yeah. There's a different strainer. Different one. We strain the potato. Ooh. Look at that. Look at all this. Just smoke it up the camera. Please don't burn yourself as you do this. Now you have to take the skin off. Okay. And you know it's very hot. Yeah. Well, mommy, isn't it better? Shouldn't we have just taken the skin off first and then? You can do that, but this is what we usually do. Take the skin off and boil it and you can smash it. It's yeah. easy way too. There's all these different ways so of doing it. Yeah. So this is the... See how she had that ready? <laughs> so this is what I'm going to do. So, you know, you can put a little bit of water there, you know, it may get cool, colder. Down a little bit. So, I'm going to do that now. Okay. Because I don't want to get burnt. Yeah, please don't burn yourself. That'd be awkward. Yeah, I'm going to drain the water. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I take the skin off. Oh. See? Oh. <laughs> Make sure you don't burn yourself. She is yeah, a professional. It's hot. Yeah, she says she that if she holds it. it. She's holding it. I'm I just... would have dropped it. Please watch your hand. Don't get burned, please. Mommy's got a lot of experience, everybody. But that's hot. So I'm going to show you. Uh, you want to see oh, sorry. It's tight. Sorry, everybody, for the jerking. 
I put a little bit of, uh, otherwise you have to wait to cool down. We should. There we go. Yeah. Jamie about to lose all, all of our food, y'all. All of it. We're just move I'm it. in the corner. I'm in the corner. You need to adjust yourself. Two down. I'm glad I put a little bit of water, otherwise it would have been too hot. Okay. It's still too hot, y'all. She's just a professional. And, and moving fast. And please, <laughs> see her breathe breathing. Put, put more she's, water. She's breathing for it. Yeah. I'm used to it all these, though. Oh, you see how the skin is coming out? So we got all four potatoes. So this is a smasher. Oh, wait. Oh. Go. Okay. Okay, so we're going to smash it. So it has I don't know if it's... I think it's a masher. Maybe. But yeah. you do the smashing. Yep. Yeah. You have to do it when it is warm or hot. Okay. okay. Why? You smash it good. It's so easier? Because it's easier? You see all the steam coming? So yep. please watch out. <laughs> and this is, you don't want any. Uh, two any, large not potatoes. Crumbs, uh, you know, you don't want any potatoes to be soft. Right. Potatoes should be soft. Yep. So this is like an appetizer, y'all. Yeah, it's a delicious food. appetizer. Or you can make a sandwich. Ooh, Ooh a yeah. sandwich. Yeah. That's a thought. And the other thing is you can put it in a refrigerator, you can freeze it. Uh -huh. You know, it will stay like a month, you know. All those things. When your uh, family comes, you know, take it out from the freezer and leave it out. You know, maybe like uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Or you can just fry it like that. I mean, how do you know when this is done, all this mashing? Yeah, you know, you feel like it's so smooth. Oh. See that? Yeah. If anybody tries the instant way, let me know. I'm curious. All right, buddy. Oh. You see that? Yeah. I don't see any crumbs in that. Okay. Right. So it's still hot. Yeah, it's still hot. So now it is going to get mixed up. So I'm going to put this. So you're adding the tuna mixture to the potato. To the potato. Or you can add it vice versa, but you know, I'm gonna put it in the bowl, it's better than okay. okay. Tell me this recipe. Uh -huh. How many people how many cutlets does it make? I think it's like a sixteen maybe. See? A bowl is better to mix. And what we do is in after we mixing it, see, you can see the mixing. And we're gonna check and see enough salt. Okay. You know, because we added a little bit, you know, in the onion. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to see. And again, you know, you can put more tuna. Or what you can do is you can put... So the ratio of tuna to potato. Yeah, I would say one can... Uh, one large or medium is good. You know, but, you know. It's preference. So, like, when you guys yeah. do this, if you're like, hey, we need yeah. another... Feel free. And if you feel like you wanted to put one more potato, you can. Okay. So, or if you feel like, oh my God, it's all potato, no tuna. But I think this is perfect. But mommy, for... but if you're gonna add tuna, uh -huh. you have to season it again, right? You should, you should put it back in the. We can't just open a can and add it to this now, right? Add it to the. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I guess oh, you, you can. can. Uh -huh. Listen to the professional. So I'm gonna job. check and see enough salt. Right? Okay. Tasting time. Tasting time. I feel like I need a little bit more salt. Okay. Okay, I put only um, one fourth maybe, or maybe less than that. That's right, they gotta test it. Uh -huh. Salt for taste. Mm -hmm. Tastes good though. <laughs> so then we had to make balls. So that's the next step. Okay. So, if you have any questions, please let us know. 
Oh my, when you make the balls, are you making it, do you wait for this to cool down or? Yeah, it's just, uh, you don't want too hot. By the time you make, you know, get all the things ready, the explaining everything, mm -hmm. it's cooling down though, it's not too hot. I mean, at least for me. You see that? Do you see that? Yep. Nice. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to show you. I'm going to make the balls here. Okay. That's good. So let me move all these things we need. This. One very important thing. You can fry it. In deep fry, this is a fry daddy. Mm -hmm. So I put oil. Okay. Okay. I added the oil already. So I put it on warmer. So we're gonna get make it like a little hot. Uh huh. Okay. So you can use the fry daddy. Mm -hmm. You see that? You can see. It? Yep. Okay. You can put it in the fry daddy. This one. Ah, oh, that's oh, the oil. air fryer. Air fryer. You know the old fashioned fry daddy. This yep. uh -huh. Air fryer. Oh, listen. Air fryer. Air Air fryer. Air fryer, yeah. So that means no oil in there. You can put, you know, if you're controlling the oil, so what you can, you can just spray inside. See? I didn't put it yet, but you can do that. Okay. okay. How long would you put it in there, Mom? I think it is like a seven or eight minutes one side, then you flip it. Okay. And again, the heat is varies. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just watch out after five, seven minutes. Check it. You know, check and flip it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. Then the other things you can do it on the, you know, all on stove. the top stove. Yep. Okay. Pan fry. Then, yeah. The other one you can put it with a little bit of oil that I'll show you all that different ways. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. So now we are going to make balls, okay? So how do you make the balls? You can make it in different style. So you take balls. Okay. Okay. Well, you make it like an oval, right, Ma? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is here, make it. Press down. Yeah, press down. Yeah. You can you can have your tuna balls just like that. This is one way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So you're making a okay. patty. Patties. You can do that. Or what you can do is you do it like that. Then you can. You're using the side of your fingers. Side of your finger. To push it in. Push it in. Hence the oval shape. So, yeah. This is a different step. There's no right way or wrong way, guys. No, you can make whatever you want. Like. So I'm going to put that on the side. Okay. I think usually you get like a 16, maybe, you know, it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, or a little bit more sometimes. You know, okay. it depends on how big the bowl is. Right. Uh, so we'll make some like that. You enjoy? <laughs> I hope you will make it and please let us know how it turned out. Okay? All right. So... Thanks to those who are joining us now. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. If you have any questions, Mommy's here. She's happy to answer anything. Oh, any, anything. If you have a question, someone else probably has the question too, I promise. So when we talked about you can it, make it this. It depends on how big the ball is, you know, the numbers. Oh, okay. Right. okay. Uh -huh. oh. So Wami, you talked about making this in the deep fry, pan fry, yep. and air fry. Air fry. And... When I said that, guys, that was in terms of healthiness, most likely. Yeah. All right? The amount of oil you use uh, is up to you. So the method you use is up to you. You could also bake it, though, right, Ma? Oh, what's it? Can bake, you bake it? Bake. Bake it. Oven. Oh, you can, oh, in the oven? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you were going to bake it, though, Ma, do you do anything differently? That's the same as the air fryer. You know, you can put just, a, if you want a little bit of oil, you can just, you know, uh, paint it. Mm-hmm. And you can do that, uh, or you can fry it with a little bit of oil on the top of, you know, okay. the on saucepan. The yeah. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you guys on YouTube so. and Facebook. Thanks for joining. Please be sure to like, subscribe if you're enjoying this kind of thing, uh, you know, so we know. What I did was I turned the heat up. On the fry daddy. Yeah. Oh, on the... Yeah. Sometimes it takes a little few minutes, okay? We are good so far?
Yep. Yes. Yeah. So, mommy, what's the temperature on the fry daddy? What the number? Yes. That's all the way high. I think it's 400. Yeah, 400. You know what that means, guys? That means it's dangerous. So be careful. Be careful. Smart please. use. Just gonna show you guys the fry daddy if you've never seen one. Mommy, I what, put kind, the, what kind of oil is it? The, I put the corn oil. Corn oil. You don't want coconut oil for that. I mean, you know. Don't use coconut yeah, oil. You can if you want. Oh yeah. my God. Coconut oil is the best thing, you know, it gives it taste. But, but it, I don't know if that's the taste you're looking for for a cutlet. To each their own, though. So if that's for you, do you, boo boo. Okay, we're almost done, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so while mommy's doing that, everyone, just to, before mommy whipped a yolk yeah. and a, an chicken. egg and then one with just an egg white. So you make it frothy yeah. in preparation for the next step. I'm making all the different styles. Okay? See you the different shapes. Any style you like. Yum. Back in our day, we used to do this all the time. And you just want to make sure it's a tight shape, right, Mommy? What's up? It's a tight shape. Yeah. Tight. I, yeah, tight, yeah. See, you make it ball first. So she she's make tightening it, tight. it yeah. squeezing then, her hand, and then she yeah. flattens it and makes it into the shape. Yep. So see, see how she pass, pats it and packs it in? Yeah, yeah I mean, it has to be tight, though. Yes. Tight. Because yeah. right. we don't want it to break up mm -hmm. while it's cooking. So how many we got so far? Oh, oh wow. Uh, anybody out there counting for us? Oh, we got 16. She was about 17. Yeah, that's what you get. Like you said. 17. 17. So you, you know, you I get the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> So each tuna is like uh, eight or nine. Each tuna can, guys. So the other thing that is very important one that I'm telling you is once you dip it. Oh, sorry. Oh, before you dip it, explain yeah. the stations. Okay. Yeah. So this is the egg, and this is the breadcrumbs. Remember we went over that. So I'm gonna. Oh, let me do this first. It doesn't matter which one you go first. Okay, okay so you're, you're going to do all egg whites. Egg white right now. The one that circled one. Okay, we're doing circle ones as egg whites. Yeah, Got egg it. white. Just egg. Once you dip your hand in the egg white, don't go right away and put it in the breadcrumbs, you know, because what happens is just leave it there until you finish all the egg. Ah. Okay. Because, see, your hand is wet, and breadcrumbs is going to get that. That breadcrumbs is going to be inside the egg white. I gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to do. Uh, Bajoy Uncle's guest appearance will be in uh, the How to Take Care of Cariapo Plants episode. Curry leaf plants. Mm -hmm. Curry leaf plants. Uh, he has said he won't come before that. So, hang tight. He's shy. So here, yeah, I'm going to do the egg white. Miss you, Rep. So if I put my hand here, then I come to the um, egg white, yep. it's going to be all breadcrumbs inside the egg. Yep. Uh, so, you know, just finish the egg first, you know, regardless egg white or the whole egg. Mm -hmm. I got it. Right. Either way, we're leaving it in. Yeah, leave it. Until you finish it, because the wet hand, the breadcrumbs, it all will get everywhere. You'll just waste breadcrumbs. Okay. That's just sad. Mm -hmm. oh. So, it's all just coated in it. Coated, yeah. So see, she's coating both sides, guys. Yeah, both sides. Yeah, well, yeah it's very it important. Both Otherwise, it will break. <laughs> all right. So, so now we have half more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the breadcrumbs and put it in this one. Okay. So see she's now, coating. Now, see me. I'm coating now. Make sure that everywhere. And before you frying, make sure that everything is done. Okay. So, Wumi, when you say that, you mean make sure that we. Yeah, because you don't want you know you don't put do one at a there, time. Then you come back. Right. You know it's all in order then. So 
breadcrumb everything. Go through the stations first. Yeah. See here? Then go to the frying. Smart. Because then you don't have to burn one mm. over getting another one ready. Yep. You are doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, guys, if you're doing oh. okay. So we can tell mommy. Yeah, any question will do. I think this one's pretty straightforward. They don't have too many questions. Oh. I think they're just hungry after watching it. God, I, I know I am. I wish you all were here. We could have done it together. There's a lot of thumbs up coming. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. Uh, the same thing, though. You know. So yep. now what I'm going to do is the whole egg. Okay? Yeah, that is a good tip yeah. about the breadcrumbs because I know many a time I've wasted breadcrumbs and gotten the white, egg white, yeah. breaded up. Mommy, I have a question. Yeah? If we just wanted to fry two cutlets, but we want to save it, can I put the rest of this in the refrigerator and do it what, in the egg? No, this. The, yeah, the you cook. can. Sure. You can freeze yeah. it for yeah. a put rainy a, day. You know, a container, yes, you can do that. You can, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, All okay. Right. So now I'm going to do it. Now we're going to try the yellow, the yolk. Yep. And remember, same tip. See here? And, and of course, you know, same thing when you fry mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yep. Guys, when you make this, tag us. Hashtag a pinch of Kerala. Add us. Whatever it is, we want to be hungry looking at your photos. So let us know. All right. And this doesn't take long. I mean, it, this is kind of like a... 45 minutes. I mean, it's because we're, we're explaining all of this. That That's why it's taking time. Yeah. But sometimes, oh, you know, really? some, some people just do it like 10 minutes. You know, I can Boom. do that too, but it's no detail. Yeah. So yeah, this way. No we know, prefer this way. Yeah. All right. Almost done. We're getting there. This is good for any and all parties, happy hours. Oh, my God. Anything. And when children come back from school, you know, you need to give a little snack. There you go. Yeah. For the children and yourself. Hello. All right. See, it's all done now. Okay. See, coated. So now we're coating yep. both sides. Both sides. All of it. See it? Uh huh. So uh, I can put this on the side. Okay. okay. I'm going to take that. So this is the one with the... So we separated by shape, although I think there was one rogue uh, oval shape in the egg whites, yeah. but overall, the long ones are... The whole egg. The whole egg. Yep. See, actually she did the sides as well. Rookie mistake, only doing front and back. And not putting pout. Yeah, I'll show you the difference, you know, when you don't do that. <gasps> oh! oh. Well, let me finish. <laughs> you have more to show the difference? No, because see, my hand is all breadcrumbs, right? It will go into the egg, and yeah. you know, you keep on ch changing the breadcrumbs more frequently. So the egg whites and the breadcrumbs, mommy, are what see, keep the even breadcrumbs when on. it moves, see here, it clumps it, up. Yep. So that's what's keeping it, the breadcrumbs on the tuna. Yep. Oh. Um. You got this? Yep. Almost done. All right. Thanks for watching, though. All right. Okay. All right. So what happens is if I take it like that and dip it here, then bring my hand, it will get so much of this one. See? And see how our fingers are now yeah. so that, you know, bread crummy. Once, once yeah, there's so much, you know, then you keep changing the black time so frequently. Yes. We don't want that. We've made that we mistake before. So I'm going to wash my hand. Okay. okay. Yeah, now we're going to start frying. So we'll show you the cutlets while mommy's getting herself ready. So this is the egg, all the egg, the whole egg, and this is the egg white. Whoa. This is the fry daddy. But remember, you can pan fry, air fry, or bake as well. Yep. They all taste 
They have different taste consistencies, okay. but they still taste good. Just as FYI, if anybody was wondering. Now, you probably have a question, you know, when the oil is hot. Yeah. Mommy, wait, why, why did you put a paper towel there? Oh, you, you don't want the oil or the oil. So the oil will get to the tissue. Okay. Okay, hold okay, on. Okay, we'll come closer. We're going we're gonna to adjust ourselves mm -hmm. accordingly. Hold on one second. Uh -huh. I'm going to try to figure this so out. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, this tuna and the breadcrumbs mm -hmm. uh -huh. in the oil. Because we hope you can see this. You see that? Maybe. Yeah, I don't want too much sweet. It looks like it's too hot. It's too hot. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. We can see some You, you know, steam. because it jumped so fast, you know, yeah. so. We get, it can. You want me to move? No, no mommy's perfect. Oh, no. I just need we'll to adjust. adjust. Uh -huh. So I this is the one with the egg white. There we go. Mommy, mm -hmm. so you said it was too hot, so you just adjusted the temperature? Yeah, I just turned it down. Turned it down. Turned it down to... Uh, 300. 300. It mm -hmm. just uh, cooled down a little bit. Can you show again how you tested it? The oh, oil? Yeah. sure. Yeah. You know, I took a little bit of uh, this. So she has a small, small this. piece. Uh -huh. I'm going to put it Sorry. in. And it's too hot because it... Yeah, it came out... It's steaming. Yeah, I don't want it to get burned. Burned. See? Okay. But we can try now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is a. This is the one with the uh, egg white. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put it. How okay. many would you put? You can in put a six. She knows uh -huh. the question before it's asked. Three. Yeah. So that's a good point. Four, Four hundred degrees, ten minutes on the air fryer would do it. So but it'd be ten ten minutes on each side. So I put five. So I hope it's not too hot. And you want to turn mm -hmm. them over, Mommy? Yeah, turn them over. See, it's getting fried. What color are you looking for, Mommy? Yeah, maybe a little bit more brownish. Okay. okay. And again, don't get burned because the whole thing will be all gone, gone. And fried oil is the best thing. You know, you don't get um, breakdown or anything like that. And you can do it on the stove top too. So if you're going to do that on the stove top. See the oil? Yes. So it will get on the oil. See that color, everybody? But you guys see how she's letting it the oil drip out? Yeah. Before oil. she puts it on the paper. Yep. Key. Alright. Okay. So now I'm gonna So that was just those were all the Yeah, so I'm gonna put some off with the whole egg. The whole egg one. The whole egg. Five. Five, yeah, put, because we had to try on the other one too. Yeah. yeah. It looks so crunchy. Yeah. Guys, this is uh, deep hot oil, so please be careful, okay? Just be careful. Don't get burned, please. It's a very, very dangerous thing. So but now just, So here, how? See how the look is different? It's cooking. Cooking. I mean, does it look lighter because you used the whole egg? No, 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 no. Because I turned the heat down. Oh, uh, I was like, wait a minute. Uh -huh, so I'm going to turn. I don't it remember that being the case. Yeah, because the oil was hot. Mm. It fries right away. So I turned it up a little. Got it. Yep. Now we the, now we have two more. Uh, one in the uh, st on the stove top uh -huh. with the oil. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to show you other one. And you know, you can put a little bit of oil. They can flip it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. So how long it takes to cook, guys, is definitely going to be dependent upon uh, oil temperature. Oil temperature. Mm -hmm. 
and your adjustments. And it's getting there. And you know, controlling the oil, the heat is a very, very important thing. Yeah, yes. Okay. Very much. And, and um, it cooked this, you know, a little faster because the oil was hot. Uh -huh. Now, now it is, you know, like a taking on time. So this is the way, is the best way of doing it. Right. Okay. Okay. Don't, don't think that oh, it cooked so fast because the oil was hot. But this is the best way, you know, oil, you know, cook, 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 you know, it may take five minutes. What you're saying on me is don't rush it. Don't rush it, yeah. No need. No need. But if it is too hot, please turn the um, heat, down. heat down. Because you don't want it burned after all the hard work. No way. That's sad. <laughs> That's just sad for me. That's just, oh my gosh, that <laughs> happens. And <laughs> even the onions and all get burned, the taste is going to be very different. So while doing that, I'm going to turn the heat down. She's going to come look at what you're going to do. No, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. So she's making a, uh, on top. a, a stove top version of the yeah. Fry Daddy and a pan fry session. Oop, see, we told you she's a professional. Oh. So I'm going to get let this boil while that's happening. Okay. And then you're just heating up both the pans. Awesome. What kind of oil here, Bumi? Uh, this is corn oil. On the pan, a stove top yeah. as well. You can oil. You can use corn oil, uh, western oil, or any. But um, I'm not sure you can fry it with the olive oil. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. You want to bring the camera here? Yes, sure. This is the perfect little bit. You see that? See that color? Color. It's the same. Mm -hmm. uh, see here? See. Yep. Very nice. And don't forget to turn the heat down. I mean, uh, turn it off. Oh. Reminder to turn off your fry daddy. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let me, when we look at this, there looks to be no difference. No difference. No, right? no, no, no. But is there a taste difference if you No, use... it's not different. You know, you tasted it, right? There yeah. was no difference. Uh, we did taste it. There was no difference. <laughs> no, but I needed different. her to say that. It looks so crunchy. You know, you can f feel it so crunchy. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, and, you know, you had to eat when it's really hot. Right, but yes. we're still going to keep cooking for you guys. Mm -hmm. So right. this is the sacrifice we make for y'all. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of oil. You know, this is the... The pan fry. Pan fry. A little bit of oil. And you can put more, it's all up to you. She put oil in a the saucepan? Oil there already. And then the pan fry version. And this is the one with the whole egg. And again, and again no difference. And if you want to save the yellow part, you yep. can, yeah, you can. And this is just, you know, a little bit of oil, just like uh, air fry. And you can put it in the oven if you like. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put, see, I'm going to put it in. Okay. I'm going to put one of this in. This is the one with the uh, egg white. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, you have to control the heat. What do you have it on then, mommy? Yeah, it's on medium. Medium know? heat. Yeah, yeah. Because these things will get um, so uh, fry so fast. You know? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is we're going to test them. No, oil is not hot. It didn't come out. For those wondering about the air fryer, we have the power air fryer. So itself. I just flip it, okay? Flip okay. It. I just want to see if it is not. See, it's 
We'll try and link, put a link in the comments. It'll probably be an affiliate link though, yeah. FYI. A little bit oil on it. Either maybe like a one teaspoon or So it's browning and cooking. Yeah. You see that? But then it came up, so yep. I'm gonna put that. You gotta be careful as you put it in, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna put it all full. What? Mommy. But you see, this tiny little thing can make all. <laughs> because <laughs> the reason I <laughs> the reason I took the tiny one is because you had to put so much oil. Yeah, you yeah. yeah. We didn't want to waste. Yeah, right. You don't. Yeah. You don't want to waste. Yeah. Economical. Economical. So now, you know, when you have children, I always remember that. So the frying pan always turn around this. Way. You don't want children to be. Yeah. Yeah. Got keep that one in mind, guys. Especially with hot oils. She does that with us. Still. Yeah. This is only cooking. So while cooking, I'm going to turn that heat down. You know, because okay. I turned it all the way high, so you don't want it to burn. So for both so of them, we medium. turned it down to medium. medium. Yep. So we are happening so many things at the same time. So I hope you got all the... So I'm going to turn it one more time, because I don't want it to get burned. So it's getting brown. It's getting brown. Yeah. You see that, everybody? I'm going to check this one. Oh, no, no it's already wet. Still a light color, everybody. Okay. So now we're almost done, except one item. It's a pickle. Okay. Okay. So you want me to wait until this is done? No, no. You oh. can. No, it's. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Pickle. We're going to start the pickle concept while this is happening. Well, first, let me explain what the pickle is. Okay, oh, there you go. Right here. So the pickle one, this is the way you make the pickle. Turn the heat down. Turn the turn off. Turn the turn off. Oh, okay. The pickle one, you're going to do this now. Onions. Oh, sorry. There we go. This is onion. Just a regular onion, you know, just uh, cut it slices. You know, so now we learn how to cut the onion in slices, right? So slices. So we have like a three, four classes so far. Yep. <laughs> All right. So what I have is a little bit, um, like a one fourth cup of um, vinegar. Mm -hmm. Okay, you put that in there. Then you put like uh, one teaspoon of salt. Uh huh. So now I'm going to add some. See ya? It's, it's frying. Okay, I'm going to add some water. Some water. You know, no, but, you know, you can just uh, see it. Yep. All right. So what do you do is just to check and see this. You can see this one? Yep. Okay. See? See here? Just want yes. you to see this one. So to get the acidity out, you have to, you know, you put water, ginger, I mean, um, vinegar, and what else you put? Salt. Salt. Right. So you take this. It will be so good when you eat. With the cutlet. What else can you use a cutlet with, mommy? What else you can eat? Mm -hmm. Cutlet with rice. Oh my god, cutlet with the rice. You can make a sandwich. It's like a snack. You can eat with um, ketchup. Oh. Yep. Chacha had a sandwich today. Oh. It was tasty. So did you. I did. <laughs> See the pan frying, everybody? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it. Hmm? See, just use that ginger, you know, because we put water uh -huh. and everything. So, so this is like a garnish, mommy, right? Yeah, it's like a garnish. And you can take a little bite. On top. It's On top. tasty. Yeah. So it's an edible garnish. Edible. Oh, my God. For it those so good with the garlic. Down for it. Yeah, this is one of the things that you go with. And if you want to 
just to put a little bit of oil on top of it, olive oil, if you uh -huh. want. You know, if you control them, don't worry about it. But this is another thing, you know, you nice. can get the cutlet. So I'm going to just put it here. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Now I will pan fry is cooking. See, the important thing that when you make cutlet, you will get upset. You know why? Burns. No, <laughs> it break. Oh, oh, yes. It break. So this is, I mean, it's not deep fried, you know. So that's why. This is the way you get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So turn the heat down a little bit, a little bit more cooking, and it's almost done now. Yep. You know, thank you. Right. You got it? Yeah. yeah. So can I move it? Yeah. So I'm going to turn the heat down. See? So once you once your cutlet get like a break, it's all over the oil. Yeah. Pieces. Then you feel like, oh my god. It's done. Yeah. So anyway, we are good so far. It didn't break anything like that. It's okay. getting more brown. Yep. Yeah. yeah, like a few more minutes, that's all. Then we put everything together. And that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're getting it? Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining. So guys, make sure you tune in on Thursday, 7 p.m. when we make potato mercury, mommy? Yeah, potato mercury. Oh, there it is. That's what we're making. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube. So do be sure to check us out. Remember to lower the heat, especially when it starts to pop like that. So you don't <laughs> burn yourselves. Um, and now we're going to take this up. Woo! But you see the color, y'all. You see the color. Okay. Beauteous. Nice. I turned the heat down. Yeah. But you see, you can see the color changing, guys, to that golden brown. Yep. That's what you need. That's what we want. Yep. You do. <laughs> A little bit darker than golden brown, actually. But yeah. It did not break. It didn't break. Success. Okay. All right. Make sure you put the pan fried version on me. Right. Pan fried. Pan fried. Oh, let's not forget the pan fry. They, they too deserve a place at the table. <laughs> <laughs> you know the pan really is so slippery. Hey, nonstick. All right. All right. Let's. See Thanks it. for those who've lasted this long. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. I'm gonna put all that together. Y'all the best. We do appreciate yous. What do you think? Looks good, mommy. All right, okay. One day I hope we, you know, some of you can come and we can cook together and we can eat together. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your patience. See you Thursday. So, and uh, please um, share and uh, subscribe if you like it. Also, please let your friends know about our pinch of uh, Kerala. So we really appreciate it and God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And see you next time, next Thursday at 7 o'clock. What are we making again on Thursday? Terrible birthday. Woo! Yeah. That's a, our church girls and boys, very, very favorite, uh, favorite dish. Favorite dish, yeah. All right, guys, be safe. All right, thank Take you care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. Though. Bye. Bye. All right.